All right, Jason Hole here. A couple thoughts from my morning meditation, my morning study. So what I was thinking about this morning was the idea of change. So we always hear the phrase, change is inevitable, everything changes. The reality is everything is changing. Everything's constantly changing. Our body is changing. Our thoughts are changing. Our emotions are changing. Our thinking, uh, our um, beliefs, our beliefs are changing. Everything is constantly changing. Now, when we resist change, we bring pain into our life. Resisting change is one side where we are stagnating or not allowing things to happen. The other thing is there change can be there can be too much change, right? So we can get caught up in all the change going around us, just like getting swept away in a current. There's so much change that we just feel swept away and we go along with all this change that's happening instead of standing our ground and being where we feel we need to be. So there's this balance. It's the pendulum principle. So pendulum swings back and forth. We want to find the middle, the extreme. One extreme would be to just go with all change, swing with change, do whatever change uh, is out there. The other would be, I'm not going to change. I'm going to be re resist change. I'm not going to change. So some people say that this is bad, and some people say that this is bad. The reality is they both extremes are, at their very extreme, negative or bad. Now, if you recognize you are resistant, the type of person that's resistant or fearful of change, then it would serve you to wake up and realize that change can benefit you. Change can be a positive. Lots of good things come into your life because of change. For example, um, you know, me getting married, that was a big change. And there's lots of positives that came out of that. Having kids was a big change. Lots of positives came out of that. There, everything good that's ever come into your life was a change recognize that. Now, if you're on the other end of the spe spectrum and you're thinking, um, I like you're swept away with change and you're going along with everything and you're so open-minded, your brain falls out and, and you have no convictions. You don't know what you want. You have no integrity because integrity, like in a building, integrity means some stability, right? So, um, the noticing change and this healthy respect of change and being willing to change, but also recognizing when you should not change, when you should not just give in to peer pressure or when you should not just do what everybody else is doing, when you should go in the opposite direction of everybody else because you know what you want, then you have a healthy perspective on change. We can be too excited about change. Or we can be too underwhelmed about change. So the question for you today is, look in your life. Where are you resisting change that would serve you? And where are you changing who you are or what you should be doing to fit what you think other people want? We all do these things. We all do this. Okay, the concept, the idea of change. Now, when we... Uh, change, this healthy respect for change and connecting and being open to change, being open to the idea that nothing is permanent, nothing stays the same. Anything that can start will have an end. Everything that, and we are open to change and we're open to the possibility that something better will come from change. I went through a divorce, really painful. At the time, I thought it was the worst thing ever that could happen to me. And I got the greatest lessons and the greatest insights um, in, in, about relationships th through that time period. And it still gives me lessons, right? Um, so change sometimes is painful, but it can, be, it can be the lesson or bring you the things that you didn't even perceive could happen. You didn't even realize the benefits that could come from this. This is what change gives us. It's the gift of change. We are brought, we are created in a world and in a situation where our bodies are constantly growing, changing, and evolving, where everything around us is constantly growing, dying, changing. Change is part of who we are. It's part of what we are created to be. It's part of everything around us. So find the changes that you should step into and go along with that flow and find the changes that are sweeping you away from who you are and stay your ground. That's my thought for the day. Jason Hall, I'm out.